big, big, big day of racing. We have got a ton of sleds here. I tell you what, uh, this place is going to be rocking all afternoon. But before we get that, we're going to continue start off today's uh, racing here today for the Race on Trace. want to thank you all for coming out and joining us here again. Again, like I said, I want to thank the Gray Eagle, Bertram Lions, and, of course, Central Minnesota Pond Racing and Cool TV for putting us on. But before we get anything else going, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if you are outside, if you could please rise, remove your hats. We'll get ready as we honor our neighbors to the north as Samantha Brody will sing O Canada, followed by our national anthem. O Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true nor strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we send our love on thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. <clears throat> oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh, oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave okay great job samantha as usual Okay, everybody, how about that? What a great job by Samantha Brody again doing that for us here. Appreciate that. And again, race fans, I want to thank, of course, Tim with Eagle Fabricating, and of course, Kyle with KLM Lawn Service. They've been getting this track ready all week, doing a lot of work down there. I want to thank, the, again, the Green Eagle Bertram Lions Club, and of course, a whole bunch of people, the volunteers all here that helped make this show go. And we're just about ready to kick things off. First race of the day will be our junior novice. we got eight of those kids out here. And uh, they're pumped up and excited to be out here. And, of course, like I said, for you folks that can't make it that are watching on Cool TV, thank you for joining in today. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we've got, we got some great things going on. Like I mentioned a little bit ago, uh, we've got our auction block Pro Light uh, Wall Brothers Racing r r Series here again. That's the race number uh, two or three here right now as they get set to go. And, of course, uh, Hunter Sears is leading that in the points right now. Uh, Calvin Cook sitting second. And Jordan Sebesky third in that. Then we got our Country Cat F500 series. That's a thousand win. And at the end of Detroit Lakes, J Justin Lundeen was dynamite last week up at uh, Strathcona. The guy was just untouchable. Lundeen got the win in that. Colton Graber was second. Aaron Davey was third in that one. And then, of course, we got our TNK Trucking Supermod 440. Now, this is a big, uh, brought to you also by Big Roundup Truck Show, brought in Farms and Motorsports at Northern Crankshaft. Now, this race today, folks, we've got about 26 of them here. It's going to pay $2,500 to the winner, $1,500 for second, and $1,000 for third, $800 for fourth. We have got some of the best 440 mod, super mod drivers in the country here. We've got several world champions. Uh, this thing ought to be dynamite to watch. 
as we get set to go. But right now, let's get ready to meet our junior novice kids come out. Now, these are the young kids that come out. Uh, Derek, Derek Meyer will be coming out on his number 10 machine, as will Ben Meyer right with him. He'll be on the number 11. Then you got another number 10. That'll be Brady Sunby coming out to join him. Brody Mantner will also be coming out on the number 24. Uh, Bryn Bregelman will be coming out on the number 21. And then Claire Jensen, again out of St. Cloud, coming out on that familiar number 27. Uh, again, the number 99's young Levi Lurkey. Levi is one of those young kids that's out of Hallock, Minnesota. On that Cannon Cattle Company All-Pro number 99. And then a very fast Carson Peterson on the number 43. Carson Peterson's been very good. Keep an eye on Carson up there. He's already got three wins on the season. So again, that's what we're set up here right now. And how about that? 11:01. I think we're going racing out there. Great job, everybody, uh, to get this all put together. So bear with me a second. Like I said, as they come into staging, we'll get the kids. Here they come, rolling up here. Again, there you can see the familiar red number 99 out there of Levi Lurkey. I've got some double up numbers, so bear with me a little bit. The 27's Claire Jensen in there. Well, the 10's, I don't have a breakdown on which 10 is which, but we'll we'll make it work the best we can. There comes Brody Bat Batner again on the 24. There's Carson Peterson, the 43 on the outside. Peterson also dials up as they start out here right now. And we are just about set to get our first race of the day off. The kids are ready. They're going to get this thing started. Then, folks, buckle up because the pro lights are waiting for their first round here today. We are set. We take a look and get ready. The flag man sets up. And here we go. Boy, great start by everybody in that one there. Oh, boy. Here we go. Four wide into turn one, all side by side as they load it up off of turn two. And these kids, like I said, Getting after it pretty good down that back straightaway. And boy, look at the charge up there. Four machines going for the lead into turn three. We'll take a peek and see who's going to have it when they come off turn four here right now. Coming to the flag in the lead. Looks like it's going to be the number 10 out there. I believe that might be Derek Meyer. And we got a wreck here. We got one machine off over here. That looks like that could be the 24. There's a 21, Brinkelman. Bryn Brinkelman went off for a ride. So, again, we're going to have to reset them here. Here they are. Bryn getting back on again on the Polaris here right now. And we'll reset. Okay, see working on the machine there right now. See if we can get Bryn back in the ruin again. And again, like I said, young kids out here, I tell you, they, you know, they start them so young nowadays. And of course, these kids have got such great talent. And, and of course, by this time of the season, though, we're, we're actually uh, in, I believe, about our fourth race of the season. Remember, we started out down at the Spicer, and then we had Sox Center, and then, of course, we had issues uh, with the, the ice down south at Butterfield. So then we did go up to Strathcona last weekend. Great show up there in the 56th running of the Strathcona Cup they had. We're back here this weekend. Don't forget, next weekend we head up to Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Again, for another great shootout up there. Okay, here they come in again to staging here. We'll get the kids all set. You can see Levi and some of the kids are jumping on the machines trying to get them things dug in there so they can really get that bite. Okay, head flag man Danny Steinman. It's good to have Danny back again here also. Okay, and again, another good jump out there as they head to turn one. Well, I'll tell you what, same thing, three and four wide. Okay, 
Okay, we think that might be Derek Meyer leading the field down to turn three here right now. And again, boy, look at this. They're coming up, but we're going to have five machines up challenging for the lead. They come down that front straightaway. And it looks like Ron Meyer in the 11 was our leader that time. Or ben Meyer, excuse me. Ben leads him off again, but I think Derek's right behind him as again the two Myers getting uh, putting on a pretty good battle for the front of the pack. Now they head down into turn three, keep an eye on the field again as they set up here. A lot of great young kids out here. They'll come by this time by. And again, still a good battle for that lead up there between the 10 and the 11. Lurking has now moved the 99 machine into third place. And I believe that was uh, Claire Jensen sitting in fourth back there on the number 27. This will be a heat race here now, so they'll come around for lap, finishing lap number two, I believe, or is it? Yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. One more lap to go, white flag out there. We might have snuck an extra one in, that's okay. Uh, let them get after each other, kids. They don't care, they're happy, they're having fun. As they come down the back straightaway here right now. And again, looks like Ben Meyer going to hang on, get that early win in this first qualifier. They'll be back out again in race number 30 also. And there it is, the checkered flag in the way. Ben Meyer going to get those. The win, I believe, the 11th second out there of Derek Meyer, if I got that right. Okay, got him in there right now. And the kids got in their first race of the day. Now, folks, we're going to turn it up into the pros here as they get ready to come out here. Pro lights, we got a couple heats. And, man, have we got a field for you here coming up here right now. The 24, Jordan Sabetsky comes out of Bozier, Manitoba. He started racing when he was like four years old. Boy, I'll tell you, one of those young guys out there on the 24. Then the guy that's leading the series has been Hunter Sears. Sears comes out of St. Francis, Minnesota. He was a missile last week up north. Then the number seven will be Ty Hagen. Hagen again comes out of New London, Minnesota. And he'll be in that uh, Hanson Tire and Lube country stop. Number seven machine of his. Then the 70X machine also joining is Sean Str Shively, Shively out there again. Sean Shively on the 70X. And then another strong runner is going to be Brennan Sather. Brennan comes in out of Detroit Lakes, Minnesota on that number 27. You can see him staging up there. And then one of our young ladies out there, she's a good one. She's 21 years old right now. That's Madison Phillips. She comes out of Drayton, North Dakota on the Polaris Wall Brothers Racing, Jensen Plumbing, number 87. So that is your lineup for heat round one. Again, like I said, this is, again, race number two of three. The leader of the series up there so far has been Hunter Sears. Sears doing a nice job. They get all ready to go again one more time as they line them up in staging. Again, these machines here will run at speeds well over 80 miles an hour, folks, as they will be cooking out there again. So again, get the chance to watch this thing on Cool TV. Hope you enjoy it. Get set. Danny Steinmetz takes a look. He's set. He takes a peek. Green flag. There they go. They launch into turn one. Okay, another restart. That one didn't make it good. And let's shut him down here. Okay, we'll bring them back up again into the staging area. Let's see if we get the field reset. Again, the, these machines here really carry the speed. We got two heats of them coming up here right now. And they'll go through three rounds of heats, and of course they'll have their final later on. And like I said, it's a, a very, very good field of racers. Okay, it looks like there might be some debris out here right on the outside going into turn one. I see they're taking a look out here right now. Flagman Danny Steinman's going to run up there and throw that off, make sure it's something that don't fly into somebody's, uh, get kicked up by a machine and, get, and, and fly into a racer. Of course, you know, as you can see, 
they are not very well in you know, racing, snowmobile racing. You're not protected. You're out in the open. Okay, Sebeski's in there on the 24. Keep an eye on Hunter Sears. Like I said, Sears has been very, very good. He didn't get a great start in that first one here, but boy, I'll tell you what, he has been the racer to beat here uh, early on. Let's see, we'll see how this thing plays out. But again, right now, Pro Lights Heat Race 1 of 2 on the day as we get set to go. What a great start that time. Ty Hagen got a great jump on the outside, but he did not hold it into turn one. It looks like Sebeski got up there as they come down the back straightaway. Now they load it up into turn number three. As you can see, coming at close to 85 miles an hour, they come off turn four. Side by side, they're going to be two wide, maybe three. And there comes the Sailor in the 27. Okay, Sean Simley is leading the thing right now. Sean Simley uh, is your race leader as they come off. And boy, it's Sather's up there. But no, we got a new leader right now. There comes the 27. And Sebeski's moved into second place on the 24. Sebeski on the 24 moved in that number two spot down the back straightaway. Again, setting up into turn three, as you can see, carrying a pile of speed here. Qualifier number one of three, three for the day. Here it is again. Brennan Sather and at 27 is locked up and blasting along down that back straightaway. Sather out of Detroit Lakes coming out here. That auctionblock.com machine is. As they come out here again, white flag for Sather, your leader. Zabetsky still sitting in the number two spot. Shively in third right now. Sather looking awfully good. They come in and boy, folks, here we go. Heat race number one of two in the pro lights, but it's going to be Sather in the 27 going to get the win. Sabetsky second, Shively third, followed by the seven of Ty Hagen rounding out your top four. Okay, we got one of those in the books here right now. That final later on, ought to be a lot of fun also. We'll get ready right now for qualifier number two. Here's one of our young, young racers we got out here again. Only 14 years old, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in the Players Wall Brothers Racing. Number 59, he comes down out of Dayton, North, Dayton, North Dakota. That's going to be Hunter Johnson on the number 59. The 964 is a very fast runner. And, of course, that's going to be Colton Graber out of Clear Lake, Minnesota. And he was your 2022 Auction Block Pro Light champion. Then a familiar name in racing, folks, A.J. Lang out of Miltona. And the Derby Ice Blades, Lang Racing number 216. And then also coming up to join us is going to be Connor Heinz. Connor Heinz also rolling in here right now. He's out of Zimmerman, Minnesota on that Northway Sports Machine is. Another great young talent is the five out of Glendon, Minnesota. That's Ross Olson. He'll be out there in the Wall Brothers Racing number five. And then, of course, the familiar Calvin Cook. Again, out of Dayton, Minnesota on the Ace Laser Technology 75. This one here, folks, is wide open. Any one of these six racers can win this thing. Boy, and I'll tell you what, Ross Olson got a great hole shot on the five that time as he launched that thing down the back straightaway, but he's got company coming on the outside. They go into turn three. Let's see how this thing sets up here right now. Cook coming off the outside, and yep, Calvin Cook going to go by him and take the lead. Olson sitting right behind him in second. Boy, you can see they are dialed in up there. Already kicking up pretty good snow dust here. You could not even see the sleds. They went into one and two there. But these guys are awfully good. They come off three and four. Here we come around to complete lap number two. Cook. Heinz in the number three spot. They come out there right now. Again, down the back straightaway. Again, they come down there right now as they roll up down the front straightaway. They're just looking good out there. Boy, Calvin Cook has got that thing dialed in today again. Cook down the back straightaway. Gets on a hammer. Staying out. Ross Olsen trying everything he can do to get up there and close in on him. White flag going to wave this time by. As they come off, I believe, or wait. Yeah, there it is. White flag, one lap to go for Cook, their leader. 
Heinz hanging on that number three spot. Boy, Heinz has got company coming, though. The 964, Colton Graber, is closed in on Heinz in the battle for third. They're side by side back there for the third spot. But off turn four, Calvin Cook is looking good. The Blue Express rolls in, and Cook is going to get the win on the 75. Also second, and Graber, I think, stole it at the flag. Colton Graber with a great pass at the check and pulled that one off. Wow. Okay, next up, let's get ready, folks. Here we go, our Supermod 340 Liquid Cooled coming out here again. I want to thank TNK Transport, of course. Uh, they put the 340, Supermod 340 Leaf Spring Series on and put a bunch of money out there for them. I want to thank them. Mason Shewitt will be coming out on the number 48X out there. Also coming up, a familiar name, uh, on a different number. Normally it's the 426 for Brady Mlaskosh, but again, he's on the number 37 today out of Willow River. That's, that's Nesbitt's sled, so he's made, he's made a purchase of another sled. Ed Sprinkle should be coming out on his number 19. Also, another number 19 will be Cole Atkinson coming up out there. Chad Canal should be jumping out to join him on the 81. Uh, one of the world champions you've got here that's awfully good is Kurt Peterson. He's out of Fargo. And then HP Engineering Woody's number 52X, the big Yamaha. And then keep an eye on Travis Winters in the number 23 out of Butterfield. The TNK transport machine. Here we are. We're set. There they go. I believe Atkinson got the whole shot, but I think they're going to have that reset. Looks like we had a jump. Okay, we'll bring them back in again. Here they come rolling up there. Brady Blascotts again on that 37. That machine formerly owned by Alec Nesbitt. Again, now with Brady on it. Okay, here they are. They're locked in again. Danny Steinmetz takes a look. If he likes it, we're going to cut him loose. Here we go. Well, Winter's got a good pull once he got out of the shoot there. That Arctic Cat looking fast. Down the back straight. Now he slides back into second place. Down the back shoot into turn three. And, of course, keep an eye on, again, the 52 Exa Peterson, who's been so strong at all these series races. Okay, Chad Canals, your leader right now as they come off turn three and four. And again, they stretch it out down that front straightaway. Canals doing a nice job out there. Running second, Brady Blascotts again out there in that 37 machine. Get a little more familiar with that thing. And again, 340 Supermod Liquid Cools. Again, this year brought to you by TNK Transport. I want to thank them great people for all their great support on this thing also. And again, off turn four, I'll tell you what, that 81. Looking very good. Checkered flag, second. Going to go to Blascott's out there. We're going to move on now to race number four on the day. And again, same thing here, folks. We got a couple of heats coming out. Again, this is our junior F500, which does include the 92 500 fans, too. So we got two heats coming up. Of course, the familiar name at the... Uh, comes out, the 30 Jaislin Rathke is a good one. Boy, I'll tell you what, Rathke can flat out fly. She does a great job. Then you got Dylan Fox coming out also. Dylan will be out here in that heart roofing, Darcy's Race Pipes, number 23. Derek Meyer again back out after a strong run in that first junior race. And the number 11 of Ben Meyer also joining. And we'll wait and see. Okay, we'll see what we got here right now. We got seven machines for the second heat. But again, we'll let them fly here right now. Here it is, a 10 on the outside here. 
That is Derek Meyer. Ben the 11 around the first. Okay, good jump that time. Dylan Fox with a nice hole shot. Gets off there as they come off a of turn two down the back straightaway. Four machines backing up down the back in turn three. Fox, your leader right now. Second, third, and fourth. Still wide open back there as they battle back and forth. Four position coming off turn four. Fox going to hang on. He's going to lead that first lap, and Fox is flying out there. Meyer sitting in second out there in the 10. Fox already had one win earlier this season here. As they come off again one more time, white flag waving here. And again, down that back straightaway. Fox really has got that thing sizzling. You can, you can see right now, Meyer's trying to close the gap a little bit. But they're going to come off in heat race number one. Is going to go to Dylan Fox on that 23. Meyer's going to run down the number two spot. That's a 10. Uh, Derek Ben is going to finish fourth on the 11. And Jaslyn Rathke is going to finish uh, in the number four spot on the 30. Okay, heat race number two again. Here we go. The 816 is a familiar name from down the road here again. That's Nolan Eskirka out of Andover, Minnesota. Of course, his dad, Dan, long time. Great racer here. He'll be coming in the 72 of Tucker Braith. Another one of those kids that's been around for a while. Uh, also lining up. And then, of course, the 43, you got Carson Peterson coming back out again out of Lancaster, Minnesota on that Choco Fly Racing uh, number 43 machine. The 434, that's going to be Miranda Peterson. Also, of course, out of Lancaster, Minnesota on that double, uh, JTEE Lager Racing Woody's uh, machine of hers. And then the 44 will be Marley Peterson again. Marley out there again. And the 44 machine coming up there. And that might be the blue one on the outside. The 113 is going to be Cassie Becker. Now, Cassie, same thing, just getting, kind of getting her feet wet on that 113 machine. You've seen a big improvement in her as she's kind of learned how to run that thing. And in the 75, out there is going to be Hannah Cook out of Dayton, Minnesota on the 75. That's Marley Peterson on the outside. Yeah, excuse me, uh, Carson Peterson on the outside, that blue 43. Okay, we're going to set again. Great start to 72 out there. Uh, Tucker Braith got a pretty good jump that time, but boy, side by side down the back straightaway. Again, these are junior F500, so these kids are really trucking out there. Uh, these are the ones folks where mom and dad get a little nervous. Right now, mom's going to have her eyes covered up a little bit. Dad's taking roll aids. And again, they come to play a good pal. And now Miranda Peterson, the 434, has moved up on the outside. Miranda's closing in in a hurry. And moving up to the outside of your leader, Tucker Braith, as they come down the back straightaway. Good battle for the lead into turn three. Braith and Peterson going back and forth. Boy, Miranda, she's had a good run. Here they come off turn four. Braith hanging on. Miranda still in second. As they dive down into turn one and two. Race number five. Of course, heat, heat race number two in this one here. They'll come off turn four, and it looks like Tucker Braith's going to hang on and seal the deal. There it is. Braith gets the win. Miranda Peterson, nice job in second. Okay, race fans, keep the show moving along, boy. We got next up. We've got Super Stock 340 Liquid Cool, and of course, want to thank Record Excavating for sponsoring uh, this race series. So here, Mitch Geesking is your series leader. He's here today. He'll be out here. Trenton Bell will be rolling out in heat race number one on the number 29. Kevin Bonagoski again on the number 91 also joins out out there again. Again, Kevin out of Milner, North Dakota. Robert Rooney comes out on the 17, another new face for me this year. And then the 56X will be Jason Sunby, along with the 84 of John, uh, again, of, of John Warner. John's out of Fargo, North Dakota, and that Yamaha of his. Then another familiar name is going to be Sheldon Carlson out of Mackinac, North Dakota, up by Grand Forks. Sheldon's got nine wins already this season, folks. So Carlson has got that Mercury just tearing him up. 
Uh, Sarah Schindler will be coming out on the 80X out there. You can see her on the outside here at Yamaha. The 08X will be Corey Schindler. So, again, there are eight of them out there right now. Keep an eye. This could be a wide-open race, but like I said, Sheldon Carlson, that Merck, has been awfully good. And, again, a big shout-out to Rickard Excavating for helping put this series on. They go out to 91. Bartomowski got a great hole shot that time. And like I said, coming in here right now, Geese King leads the series. Adam Bregelman currently, or excuse me, no. Uh, Brandon Barber got that one win, so they got 10 points here. Actually, Geese King is your series leader with Adam Bregelman second. And Schindler's got the lead right now on the 08X out there. Again, Corey Schindler looking really good as he all of a sudden jumped out to a pretty nice little cushion. Now they come down the back straight away. They're closing in on him in a hurry, trying to close the gap here. They dial it up into turn number three. Schindler takes the white flag, one to go, but boy, oh, no, Carlson just got by him again. Here comes Carlson again out of nowhere. I tell you, Sheldon's no kid anymore, but boy, I'll tell you, he can flat out ride that machine and just continues to go to the front. Like I said, I think he's got the most wins of anybody, final wins on the season with nine of them already this season. He has been just really having a great run. And now they come off. This will be another heat race win for Sheldon Carlson. Schindler in second. And again, a good field, great field of uh, Super Stock 340 liquid cool machines here. We got a pile of them here again today. We'll get ready for heat race number two. Brandon Barber is a good one that comes up here again. Brandon at the 72 machine. Rolls up here out of New London, Minnesota. He'll be in that Hilton Sprinter's Woody's machine. He's got one win this season, although he didn't race last weekend. He did not come north. It's a long drive for those guys down there. Uh, then Trevor Bretter Bretterman will be coming out on the number 98. Trevor again. He's got two wins already on the season here this year. Along with uh, Kyle Maug on the 130. Adam Bregelman on the 717 also going to join up. Adam again, like I said, he was your 2022 F-Stock champion. Taden Nelson also going to join us on the 9-11. Taden, a good runner that comes out. He's got one win this year also. He comes out of Spicer, Minnesota. In the nine. Then you got Mitch Giesking. Of course, he's your series leader on that 17G. Keep an eye on Mitch Giesking. Again, out of Buffalo Center, Iowa, on that Woodings Giesking farm machine of his. Tanner Davey is another solid runner also. Davey rolls up here out of Badger, Minnesota. Zach Hilton, the 731. Ed Lurkey's also joined out there on his 99. And Braden Stentrude on the 222 also comes in here. So what a field you got here again right now. Big heat race number two. Here they go. Oh, boy, look at this. Three wide into turn one. They're, they're about four and five wide back there right now. Now they load it up down the back straight. A lot of commotion going on back in the pack. Top three kind of break away a little bit. Let's see who's going to have that lead when they come to the flag here right now. I want to thank the great folks for Cool TV for putting this baby on here today. And they come down that front shoot. Gieske had the lead, but boy, he's got pressure on the inside. I think that might be Bregelman on the inside of him. We'll watch and see here. They're going back and forth down the back straightaway. Mitch Gieske again out of Buffalo Center, Iowa. Mitch has been a good, strong runner here for a long time. They come by again. White flag coming out this time by. Looks like that might be Kyle Mogg in a 130, your new leader. Mogg, your race leader in a 130 out there. Giesking setting in the number two spot. Again, they come off, and again, I think, like I said, there it is, the 130 going to get the win, Mogg. Giesking, I believe, was second. And that one, a good battle out there as we wrap up the race number five. We're just getting wound up here, folks. I'll tell you what. Uh, we are going to have a big day, uh, race number six. We got a few more races before we'll do our first plow break. Next, we're going to bring up our junior 0 to 400 class. Again, these are the 11 and under kids. Now, these are the young kids. Uh, got his first race this season, folks. Out of Gray Eagle, Minnesota's young Colton Becker. That had to be exciting. I wasn't here for that. I wish I could have been. But he'll be on the number six machine. Brody Sunby will be coming back out on the number 10. Then you got Ben Meyer also on the number 11 joining in the party. 
And then the 86th junior is going to be Carter Jensen. Carter, or Carter Jensen comes out of uh, the St. Cloud area down there again from there. That Jensen family, they've been around here for a long time. They do a great job. Then you got the high-flying young Levi Lurkey. He's down here out of Hallock, Minnesota, on that familiar number 99. And then keep an eye on the 23W. That's Waylon Winters. And again, Waylon will be on the number 23W machine of his. He's out of Butterfield, Minnesota. So again, this should be fun. We, we had so much fun last year uh, uh, between Lurkey and the 99 and uh, Becker and that six. They had some great battles. And I think they're all buddies down there. They're having a good time. Well, let's get ready, get set. Here it is. There we go. Oh, Becker got the hole shot, but the machine quit on it. Oh, Colt Becker got a great hole shot. Just like that, the machine died for a second. Now goes again, but he's back in the third. Tough break for the young guy there. On a gray eagle here, the local guy. Down the back straight away, they go into turn three. Let's see how the field sets up. Is that Winters in the lead? We'll wait and see as they come off turn four. Again, remember, these kids are very young, but they're not driving riding like it right now. And I think, was that 99 Lurkey in the lead? I believe that was Levi out there, right? So again, sitting up in the first place. Okay, Winter, Winters is running second, and Becker, I think, is in third then right now, if I'm not mistaken. That's your top three, yep. So again, Levi Lurkey with the lead right now, coming to take the white flag here. You know, just having a blast out there right now. You can see Winters sitting in that number two spot. Colton's got to be shaking his head back there in third. He had such a great start. And uh, when you, the thing died on him, it cost him about 15 sled lengths. If he had them back again, he'd be in second place. But right now, it's the Levi Lurkey show, the Hellock Minnesota racer looking good off turn four. And here comes Lightning Levi to the flag. He's going to get the win on the 99. Winner second to 23, and Colton Becker third on the number six. There's your top three. Okay, race fans, we'll continue along. Like I said, we got about 54, 55 races. We'll have all of that and then some. But right now, we're going to come to race number seven, and that's going to be our IFS 340X machines coming out. And again, another great lineup here again. A.J. Rickard comes out, another familiar name. A.J. is out of Glencoe, Minnesota. He's got five wins already this season, and he was not with us at Stansfield last or up at Strathcona last weekend. He'll be in that Rickard excavating Hilton Spreaders, number 76. Mike Stratacek also coming out on the number 13 machine. Stratacek on the number 13. Okay, and then you got Brady Mloskotch again on the 37. Brady be back out again along with Cole Tresniak on the number seven coming out also. Cole Tresniak joins up on the number seven. Tristan Erdman should be rolling out on the number 54, Tristan Erdman. Again, he's got one win this season so far. And then another familiar name, Pierre Jensen on the 86. Pierre has been doing this for a long time. Pierre out of... Uh, Again, Wood, Clear Lake, Minnesota, on that Woody's machine of his. He, back in 2013, he was your F340 champion. He also won the Triple Crown in 2019, too, so Pierre's had some great wins. And then uh, Justin Marthaler, familiar name out there again. On the number 22, Justin's out of Alexander, Minnesota. Here's Justin. He'll stage on the outside out here right now. Again, a great lineup there. Come first, Erdman on that 54. Again, Jensen on the 86 lines up. Again, AJ Rickards, another one of these young 12 year old kids. It's an off they go. Jensen got the whole shot right away. Boy, they're squeezing some horsepower out of them babies. They blast into turn number one. Again, on the back straight away. Watch the fields. They blast on here in round. Boy, look at it. Here they come. And it's starting to close the gap. Your leader's up there. But, boy, a lot of company coming off on of turn four. First lap number one's going to be led. Let's take a look here. The seven's got the lead. Cole Tresniak following again. 
by uh, Tristan Erdman in that 54. Tresniak with the lead, but boy, again, he had Erdman right on the back side. Now they come down the back straight. I think Erdman just took the lead away with a pile of speed down that back straight away into turn three. Tresniak going to try the low side again, but here they come, and it's going to be up. Tristan Erdman, your new leader. And that third place battle tightening up pretty good, too. Good racing. All over the track, down the back straightaway. Now, let's see if he can hang on again. Tristan Urban down the back straightaway. Tresniak going to try closing gap. Now the battle for thirds. Second place heating up as they get a dog fight off turn four. Here they come. It's going to be Erdman Tresniak. Okay, 11 got third in out there. Okay, and I believe all the Buyer Boys took third. They came all the way down here from Michigan to run with us this weekend. All right now, though, and here we go. Next up, race number eight, Superstock, 440 fans. And we got a pile of them here again. Like I said, a couple big heats. Steve Windingland's going to be out there on the familiar number 77. Steve comes down out of West Fargo, North Dakota. Again, Kevin Bonowski again is out here again. Kevin comes out of Milner, North Dakota on the number 19. Robert Rooney will be out here on his number 17. John Warner, also another one of those guys from up in Fargo coming down on his number 84. Sheldon Carlson with nine wins on the season. Comes down out of Mackinac, North Dakota on his number 15. And Sarah Schindler comes out on the ADX. Sarah Schindler again on the ADX here. Does a nice job out there. They drop the green, and here we go. And boy, I'll tell you what, they're scrambling back and forth. Off turn two down the back straightaway. Winding lamb looking pretty good up there right now, but boy, here comes. That looks like Sheldon Carlson going to work on the outside again on that 15 of his. That Merck has just seems to really work through the turns here. Steve running second right now. Good run by him. And some good battles out on the track. Off the pace just a little bit to 17 out there of Rooney. Doesn't have the thing that doesn't sound like it's running like he'd like it to as they come. But down in three and four, here comes your race leader off again. Sheldon Carlson's got that thing locked up. Winning land trying to dial him in out there right now. And Sarah Schindler, I think, was sitting in third place there. Again, Sarah, Sarah doing a nice job on that ADX machine hers also. But into turn three, Sheldon Carlson just continues to stay up front. Boy, he don't look at much snow dust, folks. Here he comes again off turn four. A uh, driver from up by Grand Forks. Carlson gets the win. Winding land second. Schindler's going to finish third. And heat race number one of two. Next up, we'll get set to go here. And we're going to get ready for heat race number two in the Superstock 440 fan. Eight, two, five, and again, after this race, you fan, folks on TV will be doing a plow break. So there will be about a 15-minute break, I'm thinking, maybe in that area, something like that. Uh, so we'll get that set. Brandon Barber's going to be coming out in this one here. He'll be on the number 72, very fast on him. Adam Bregelman, also very strong. On his 717 machine, he's, again, your 2022 F-Stock champion. Taden Nelson also comes out on the 911 again. Taden out of Spicer, Minnesota with one win this season. Mitch Giesking should be bringing that Yamaha out again to 17G. And Zach Hilton on the 731 also joining up. You can see Taden on the 911, the black machine out here. Looks like we need a dead sled. They're going to run down and load that one up. Again, race fans will be doing a quick plow break, kind of clean the track up. The reason they do that, we got to get the snow dust off. If you watch these races now, as the track continues to, to get chewed up, visibility gets to be a real serious. And, and of course, our, our number nine race coming up, I think, after this will be the F500s. And, and we've got, uh, oh boy, I'm trying to see how many we got here right now. Yeah, we've got three heats of them. We've got like 21 F500s coming up, and, and of course they are very, very fast. And of course they're running for some big bucks again. As they're in that, that Country Cat F500 series, I want to thank Country Cat. Boy, those folks, uh, they have got a ton of money out here for these guys. Of course, this will be a three-race series. Uh, we'll wrap that up next weekend in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. 
Okay, here comes Mitch Giesking rolling up here on his Yamaha. Okay, there we are. Well, folks, I'll tell you what, sit back and enjoy. This should be a fun one again here right now as we get locked in again. Superstock 440 fans. Again, Danny throws the green. Good start out there. I tell you, Giesking side by side into turn one. It looked like he and Barber were really close on that one there as they come down the back straightaway. Again, you can see not much separation in first four machines. Very tight as they go into turn three and four. They'll come around to complete lap number one. Let's see who's going to have it here right now. All the players on the outside. That might have been. Again, bear with us a little bit. We're still having the issues too, of course. Sometimes snowmobile racing can be a challenge, especially not more for the scorers than me. But uh, you'll see some of the numbers they come down here. Let's take a look there. Good battle up there, boy. Coming up, East King also charging up there. And them top three are really getting after it right now. Okay, Zach Hilton's up in there. I think that might be him in the lead in the 731. Let's take a look as they come down. I believe Zach Hilton got the win on that one there. If I got the, it wasn't Barber in the 72 at the end. Okay, I apologize, folks. That was Barber that did pull it off at the end. And another strong run by Brandon up there. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, race fans. That'll take us to our first eight races that we're going to do now. For you folks uh, watching, of course, on... Uh, on Cool TV, we're going to take a little break, about 15 minutes while they, as you can see, the plows are going to be coming on the track. We're going to get the track reworked again, then, then get back to your seats. Don't move because I'll tell you what, when we bring out that F500 roundup in the first, the first three heats, uh, that feature, or that final later on today, ought to be wild. So we're going to back it on here for just a few minutes here, and we'll be back here very shortly again with more of the Central Minnesota Pond Racing Race on Trace. This live broadcast of CMPR, Ice Oval Racing is brought to you by Bright Stitch Monogramming Rickert Excavating Scott's Auto Body T&K Transport And Vintage Snowmobile Magazine Northern Crankshaft NC Sales is a proud sponsor of CMPR. Your local Power Sports one-stop shop, servicing snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs and motorcycles. It offers a full line of parts with a huge variety of engine parts on hand for all makes and models. They also have a full line of enclosed and open trailers. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales proudly serving you for over 40 years. It's the Sox Center Snowfest Racing Festival presented by MBC Drainage. Saturday, January 28th, featuring CMPR snowmobile racing action. See the area's fastest racers and sleds take to the track on Sauk Lake at the Sinclair Lewis Park Boat Landing. Hot laps beginning at 8 a.m. The racing starts at 11. It'll be a day of family fun with food, a warming tent, hot beverages, cold beer, and admission is free. Don't miss the racing action Saturday, January 28th on Sauk Lake. Find out more, go to SaukCenterChamber.com. For a taste of greatness, try Papa's Seasonings at your next cookout. Anyone can cook a great steak with Papa's Steak Seasoning. This versatile, very low-sodium seasoning is excellent on a variety of meats. For the best-ever ribs use Papa's Rib Rub, also great on ham and chicken. For the barbecue lover our delicious Papa's Barbecue Sauce is perfect for grilling. Also try Papa's Bloody Mary Mix. Our line of Papa's Seasonings and Barbecue Sauce are the best out there. Get yours today. Available at Lake Country Meats Alexandria. Sure Stay Hotel, by Best Western, in Spicer, Minnesota, is located across the street from the sandy beaches of Green Lake. Our friendly staff will ensure you feel welcome and comfortable during your visit. 
Our clean, cozy rooms provide an excellent environment for resting up between activities. Enjoy our heated indoor swimming pool and spa. A complimentary continental breakfast is offered daily. To book a room call 320-796-2300 or visit bestwestern.com. AuctionBlock.com. First with online equipment auctions in 1999. First in worldwide registered users. Sell with a leader. AuctionBlock.com. Call AuctionBlock today. 218-483-7880. The experienced team of MBC Drainage LLC is here to do everything in their power to help you rectify any drainage or excavating problems you may be experiencing. With over 90 years of combined experience, we offer complete farm tile drainage services and a number of helpful excavating possibilities for your convenience. Just contact our team when you need help. We will be happy to sit down with you and provide a free consultation. Call today for more information or visit us online. Hey, I'm PJ Wondershide. Welcome to the wonderful world of Country Cat. With a four-time world champ at the helm, fast, reliable, online ordering is exactly what Country Cat provides. From FXR, 509, Climb, to Arctic Cat, all the best clothing and accessories on the planet. ATVs, UTVs, Easy Go Golf Carts are backed by one of the world's largest Arctic Cat dealers. For fast and free shipping on most orders over $39, log on to CountryCat.com. That's CountryCat.com. Okay, race fans, welcome back, and we are about ready to crank them up, and boy, we got a dandy for it. We got the F500s coming out, uh, heat race number one of three. It should be a dandy. Uh, the number one S going to be sliding out here again. Of course, it's going to be Cody Scholten out of Laverne, Minnesota, in the Papa's Place Family Restaurant. Number one S, the number seven of Ty Hagen, actually the 137 of Ty Hagen out of New London lands up out there. Then the 23 of Dylan Fox. Fox was fast early. You seen him get a nice win here just a little bit ago in that heart roofing uh, number 23 machine. His keep an eye on. Derek Meyer again. Derek comes in here again out of Michigan uh, on that number 10. He has been good earlier today also. The 215 will be Dalton Broughton. Broughton again up here again. Also rolls in here, folks, uh, from Butterfield, Minnesota. They're off and running. There they go. And, of course, keep an eye on Justin Lundin, who totally dominated last week. And now he's on the outside side-by-side -side for lead down the back straightaway. And it looks like Lundin's going to explode into the early lead in this one here. Let's see what happens. 
Here they come into turn three. Also out there, I miss Chad Bestule out there on the number 55. They come down the front straightaway. Lundin's your leader. And behind it, we got a freight train. Sitting second, Dalton Rotten on that 215. And boy, I'll tell you what, this is a stacked up heat race. Them first five machines not separate much. So far, Lundin with the lead, but boy, he's got everybody right behind him as they come off three and four again. Down the front straightaway, Lundin gets on the trigger. He's holding it. Now Fox has moved to second. He's gotten by the 215 up right into the number two spot. He's coming after Lundin down the back straightaway. Lundin cranks it up down the chute. Here comes Fox on the outside. He closes in the back side. They come into turn three. They come off again right now. Here it is, and it looks like Lundin's going to hang on, and Lundin is going to get the win in the 124. Fox in second, Rotten in third, and yikes. Oh, mama mia, I'll tell you what. That didn't take long. I want to thank, of course, Country Cat, their F500 Country Cat Series. Uh, this is a big race here, number two of three. Remember, we go to Detroit Lakes next weekend to see who's going to win it. Heat race number two, Jeff Watson comes up here again out of Princeton, Minnesota, and that challenger performance. Uh, his future wife, of course, Samantha Brody, does all our anthems and stuff, does a great job. He'll be out there, the, the former world champion. He's also 2022 Pro Light Champ. Then you got Tanner Foss out there again, the 111. Foss comes out of Strathcona, Minnesota, coming down here. The 965 had a big weekend last weekend up north out of Clear Lake. That's Austin Graber out there again. And now the 964 today is being ridden by Taylor Thompson on the 964. So again, here they Okay, Thompson scratched. We just heard it right now. Adam Gorno should be coming out on the 75 out there. Dan Eskirka, the great veteran on the 815. Again, Dan's been around the sport for a long time out of Andover. And Kendra Westland, the women's world champion, on the 113 out here. Keep an eye on Westland also. She was very good. Here they come. Here they go. And Westland on the outside got the whole shot on the guys. Led earlier. She's coming off turn two down the back straightaway side by side. Oh, got a red here. We, okay, shut her down, guys, gals. And we got a caution. Don't forget, folks, check out. I got a chance to take a look at some of the, again, Papa's Party Pack here. Want to thank the, them great folks for coming up here and bringing us out. They got they got Bloody Mary mix. They got rib rub seasoning and all kinds of great stuff here, too. Uh, Papa's Party Pack out there, again, really appreciate them guys. And, of course, so if you see them around here someplace, you want to try some of that great stuff, you better check them out. Kendra's got to be shaking her head. She got a great start that time. And... Uh, she had issues up at Strath Corner. She did not get out of the hole good most of the day. And, and boy, that could beat you up again. Like I said, this, this class here, uh, the speed they carry, if you don't get up there with them, you're going to be in trouble. But maybe, oh, maybe I did see the hole shot. She might have got too good of a hole shot because I see they have penalized Kendra Westland. And the women's world champion is going to have to start behind the guys this time. Oh, well, she's all give them a head start. Okay, here we go again. They get set, they drop it again. Into turn one and two, boys, side-by-side -side racing. As you can see them bottled up back there. Five, six machines all tight together. Now Westland's caught up to the pack. She's starting to move up already. She moves into fifth. They come down for that first lap. Let's see who's going to be the leader here right now. 111 looks like it should be out there again. Tanner Foss, your race leader right now. Foss looking really good down there. New colors on Tanner's machine this year also. Foss hanging on down the back straight away. Got company coming up behind again there right now. Boy, Kendra Westland's back to, oh, there, oh, another wreck. Okay, red flag here. Okay, now we got another machine. Okay, so again, Foss, your leader, Jeff Watson in second. And how about the women's world champion, Kendra Westland, has gone from the back of the pack up to third place after starting about 40 feet behind the rest of the field. Yeah, so it'll be back a lap, and that'll change things up a little bit again. So a tough break again. Westland's having one of them tough races. She got a great start the first time, too good of a start. And then the second time here, all oh, this one here. But again, uh, like I said, keep an eye on that battle for the lead. 965 down here. That looks like Austin Graber. The Graber boys have been so good, folks. I tell you what, we had them up north, and they've been with us out of Clear Lake. Austin is mid-20s. He's one of those guys right in prime. Okay, let's get him back here again. 
Whoa. Okay, they're going to do the staggered start. Should be the 111 followed by Watson. Okay, Dan and Skirkle will be moved back to third. Okay, here comes Foss and the 111 to the staging area up there. There comes Jeff Watson, the nine. Okay, now next should be is. Okay. Okay, looks like Kendra's going to move off the side. Let Eskirka come in. See, they went back to the previously scored lap. That's how you got to do it. But all the racing does it here also. So we're going to have a green white checkered finish. Okay, there it is. Also coming up behind him, the 75, Adam Gorno. Okay, folks, we're going to reset him again one more time. Danny Steinmetz, our flag man, backs out of the way. We'll keep an eye on the field again. And again, away we go. Oh, Watson did not get a good start that time, did not bite, but... Watson so fast once he gets moving, he can come back on you in a hurry. And it looked like Westland has moved into second place now. But up front, Tanner Foss looking good. He'll take the white flag this time by. As they come off turn four, Foss dialed in, looking good. Westland now trying to run him down. Watson just not able to recover that bad start. Boy, that thing must have loaded up on him or something. Normally, Watson's very good. Now Foss the lead. Here comes Westland closing, though. Kendra Westland is closing on the backside of Tanner Foss. As they come off three and four, she's right behind him right now. Drops underneath him down the front straightaway. And Foss going to hang on and get the win. Westland in second. And boy, all of a sudden, Watson pumped some speed and really closed up on those first two that last couple hundred feet. Okay, here we go. Heat, heat race number three coming out on you here. Uh, the F500s, Tanner Davy out of Badger on that 685 is going to roll out, as is the 003 machine. That's Brody Wensloff. Brody's up here out of Roseau, Minnesota. Then the 213, Aaron Davy out of Badger comes out on the 213, the 5 of Ross Olson out of Glendon, Minnesota. And that Wall Brothers racing machine, his. The 77 is going to be Dylan Herman. Out of Detroit Lakes coming up, Jonas Gust in the 71. Jonas out of Strathcona, Minnesota, and the Pro 5 racing machine. And then, of course, the very fast Calvin Cook. Folks, lines it up out of Dayton, Minnesota. This is a good heat race. A great bunch of young, talented racers in this one here. I tell you, this is going to be a shootout. Uh, these are the guys that are really moving into the, the next upper echelon of this class here. A lot of young talent in this one here. This should be a fun one to watch. Let's see how it plays out again. Cook on the outside, there they go. Okay, got a red flag, and I don't know if we had an issue with the start again or what happened here, but again, well, we'll reset them one more time. Okay, everybody, let's reset the field again now. And it looks like the 75 of Calvin Cook got nailed with a jump on that one. Boy, now Cook has got some work to do to get qualified for this thing, remember. As they get rid of that final later on, that final ought to be a dandy race, folks, I tell you. Okay, let's take a look again. Here we go. Steinmetz takes a look, throws it up, and here it is. Okay, Jonah. Jonas Gus got great bite that time. I don't know how he got all that bite. He almost did a wheelie as he came out. The front end came up. But again, good start there as they get going down the back straight away into turn number three. Jonas Gus, your early leader, but boy, can he hang on because they're trying. And here comes the 213 moving up on the inside in a hurry. Aaron Davy. 
is all over it. He takes the lead away from Gus in the one and two. Aaron Davey out of Badger is your new race leader down the back straightaway. Gus sitting in at number two spot. Keep an eye back behind him again. Good battle with a lot of talent out here again. Like I said, any one of these seven machines could win this thing. Davey, Gus, Cook is now back up to third place. Boy, how about Calvin Cook from way behind his move back up to third, doing the same thing that we had Westland do here a little while ago in the earlier heat race. But, boy, he's doing the same thing. Now they come off turn four, get ready. Steinmetz gets ready. Checkered flag, going to wave. And it looks like, yep, it's going to be Aaron Davey, Calvin Cook in second. And our general Jonas Gust in second. We got that wrong again, didn't we? And again, finishing in third will be Calvin Cook on the back of the pack. Okay, race fans, we'll keep moving along. Beautiful day out here. Like I said, if you're in the area of Gray Eagle, come on down here and again, head for Trace Lake. And I'll tell you what, you'll see all the sleds and the haulers out here. we got a pile of machinery here. We'll be going here until probably close to 5 o'clock today, at least the way it looks. Right now, let's get ready. Though Jasmine Brace should be coming out on the track. She'll be on the number, familiar number 40 machine of hers. Jasmine, again, one of the very strong races. She's out of Staples, Minnesota. Uh, another really lightning bolt has been the one of Jennifer George. And again, Jennifer will be on that number one machine. Her, she's got a couple wins earlier this season. Claire Jensen on the familiar number 86 out there. And Marley Peterson on the 43. There we go. George on the outside. Braith gets the early lead in this one. Jennifer George slides right up behind her again. Again, they roll it down the back straightaway. Jennifer's out of Princeton, Minnesota. Good battle up there for the front of the pack. Let's see how this thing plays out again. These are the women's single cylinder machines, folks, just single bangers. Okay, there it is, your leader, Jasmine Braith. Second place, a good battle back there. As George and Claire Jensen going at it pretty good in that battle area. Yeah, I think it'll one, is it? Yep. So again, Jennifer George runs second, but boy, right now, Jasmine Braith has got that thing dialed up, and as, as no surprise, she's very, very good. Down that front straightaway, Jasmine looking good, takes the white flag. This is their final, so they'll only run this one here one day. Jennifer George now moves into second. Peterson, I believe, sitting in the number three spot. They come in here right now. Here they come, and Jasmine Braith going to pick up the win. Strong run for Braith on that 40 machine. Great job by Jasmine. She gets the win. Jennifer George with a solid run in second again. And Jensen finishing third, I think, unofficially. Okay, now we got uh, a big bow. We got a dandy coming up, folks. Here come your Super Mod 440s. This is heat race number one of three. The winner of this thing later on today is going to walk out of here with $2,500. And again, we want to thank uh, some awfully great people that are putting this thing on. T&K Trucking, Big, Big Rig Roundup Truck Show, Broughton Farms and Motorsports, and Northern Crankshaft have put a dynamite purse together. Nathan Fuke will, will be out there on the number 83. He'll come out. Then you got your world champion, Kurt Peterson, out of Fargo on the Yamaha. Cole Tresniak also coming out on the number seven. Justin Lundin will be on the 552 in this one here. A.J. Lang will be coming out on the 216. Jeff Watson on the familiar number nine W again. Another former world champion out of Princeton on the Challenger Performance Machine. Colton Graber was red hot up north last weekend on the 964. And the 17 of Mason Fenner also joining the field. Boy, what a lineup here. This is heat race one of three. There's about 25 of these guys here today going for 2,500 to win. There they go. Well, we'll see how this thing plays out. 440 super mods down the back straightaway. As they load it up in a turn three. And, man, I'll tell you what, there, there's some guys carrying some speed. 
Okay, here they come. Let's see who's going to be the leader. I'm trying to figure them out myself here right now. I could I... Okay. 83, Nathan Feud is, is our leader. Nathan Foyt. Fate comes up here again. Nathan leading that field down there right now. Battle for second, the 216 of A.J. Lang has now moved into that number two spot. Lang is charging up there, and he's starting to close on your leader as they go into turn three. Nathan with the lead on the 83 as they come into turn three here right now. Here comes Lang coming off of turn four, trying to close the gap. Boyd still hanging on. Boyd, third place finish out there. Great finish again also by Kurt Peterson and Lang. We're side by side in a photo finish. Wow. How about that, folks? That's just a teaser. Well, let's get ready. We got heat race number two coming up here in a second here. And again, we'll have another number 77. That's going to be uh, Bryce Tresniak again on the number 77 jumping up out there. Then Sheldon Carlson also going to join up again out of Mackinac, North Dakota on a familiar number 15. Then the 84 will be John Warner out of Fargo, North Dakota, along with the 51C. That's Cody Schulten. Cody up here out of Laverne, Minnesota. So again, he'll line up there. Mitch Geesking again comes in on the 17. On his familiar Yamaha, he's out of Buffalo Center, Iowa. The vet veteran Joe Burns out here again. Joe out of Willow River, Minnesota. Boy, boy, last year he had some great runs. He'll be on that number 47. You can see all the people out here right now enjoying themselves and sitting in their lawn chair. It's a beautiful day out here, folks. It's in the 30s, and uh, you can see right now one of the dead sleds going to haul one of the sleds off from the first heat. And finally, let's get ready. Chuck Zeck should be coming out in a familiar Polaris of his. Chuck Zeck on that 76 machine of his. He's out of Brainerd, Minnesota. And then, of course, another familiar name, the 23 machine. Of course, that's going to be Travis Winters out of Butterfield, Minnesota, and the TNK Transport machine. Of course, TNK Transport helping put all the money up for this thing again. Like I said, want to thank TNK Transport, Big Rig Roundup Truck Show, Broughton Farms and Motorsports. Thank you, great folks in Northern Crankshaft. 2,500 for first, 1,500 for second, uh, 1,000 for third, 800 for fourth. Well, you don't have to win this thing to get rich. Kind of like win the lottery. Okay, here they come. Here comes Zach on the Polaris on the 76. Okay, that must be Cody Schulten on the 51, the yellow machine. Winters on the Arctic Cat, the 23. There comes Geesking on the Yamaha on the 17. Sheldon Carlson, the 15. Uh, Warner, the 84 out there. Uh, there's a one out here. I don't have that number three. Okay, and 77 will be winning land by Bryce Tresniak. Okay, here we go. Okay, Warner, I think, is supposed to be here. Okay, we did have one single. Folks, here we go. Supermod 440s. Heat race number two or three. There they go. Winner. Winners at 23 got up there and another red flag and another restart. But we don't need too many of these today with as many sleds we got. But unfortunately, the guys are jumping a little bit and they're pumped up for this kind of money. You got to expect it's going to happen. Okay, Zach in the fifth. Out there coming in, out there chucking that 76 machine. Cody Schulten, the 51C. Oh, some of the others kind of pulling up into the staging area. Okay, again. 
Getting them all dialed up one more time. The charge that time went on Gieskink 17. The Arctic Cat got a great jump down below for a minute. But boy, on the inside, coming up in a hurry. As they dial them up down that back straightaway. A lot of speed on these guys here as they go into turn three and four. Looking good as they come to the flag off turn four. Race leader and lot number one is going to be the 47 out there, the veteran Joe Burns. Boy, Burns, we don't see him much, and all of a sudden he just comes out of nowhere and goes right to the front of the pack, and he's looking good. Again, some of the soccer's trying to jump up for you. Hey, they got nothing to lose. They might as well join in and try this thing. If you can make the final here, boy, you got a chance to make a lot of money. I think it's 100 bucks just to start. There goes Burns, your leader. East King now running second, followed by Winters to 23 and third. As they take the white flag for lap number two of three here. And the veteran Joe Burns looking good out there right now. Here he comes off turn four. On a Willow River, Minnesota, coming to the flag. It's going to be Joel Burns picking up the win on that 47. Good run. Gieske second. Winters in third and a good run there. We still got one more heat to go in this round up here. Let's meet your field again for heat race number three as Blaine Broughton's going to roll in on a Butterfield and that Broughton Farms TNK Transport number 205. Another familiar name, Kyle Roskoski, comes down here out of Eveleth, Minnesota, folks, in that northern small engine, uh, Masabi sign, uh, number 118 of his. The 50 is going to be Eric Ruland up there again. Eric again in that number 50 machine of his. Lining up, and then, of course, the 73 is going to be Andy Bachman. Andy Bachman out there out of Orchard, Minnesota, and he'll be out there again. He was your 2018 440X Series champion. Mason Schuett comes in on the 48X also, and then keep an eye out for Matt Gady out of Mayor, Minnesota, in that performance specialties. The multi-time world champion, again, like I said, is back at it again. On the familiar number 28, Chad Knaus. Brings out the number 81 machine in there, joining the party here right there. Brady Mlaskotch will be up on the 37 again on that new machine he picked up from Alec Nesbitt. And then how about the young fifth, uh, fifth uh, Andrew DeNoble out there again on the number five. DeNoble's out of Fergus Falls. He was your 2022 junior world champion. And he'll be out there in that high performance engineering bed and landscaping machine. Here they go. So again, they get off to another and another red flag. Boy, I'll tell you what. We apologize for that one there, but uh, apparently the flag man not liking the starts here, so we'll just have to. That might be on Gady. Boy, wouldn't that be something as they put the, the multi-time world champion will go to the back. He might have some issues trying to qualify for this race today. He's got a lot of fast sleds ahead of him. Well, here they come. Okay, here they come up now. Yeah, and it is the, ch ch the charges on Matt Gady's 28. Well, if anybody can get from the back up there to the front, this guy here can. So keep an eye on Gady back there. Again, the multi-time world champion has won about everything he's done. Okay, good start that time by everybody. Again, they roll down into turn number one as they come down the back straightaway. We'll see how the field sets up. Broughton looking awfully good in that 215. They come into turn three here right now, and boy, all of a sudden things are coming together at the back of the pack as they start closing in off of turn four. And it looks like... How about that, the 37 out there? And that, that should be Brady Mlaskos, your leader out there on Nesbitt's machine. That's the machine he just purchased. And I'll tell you what, right now he's looking good out there, and Gady's going to work back there. I think I just seen Gady move from fifth to third as they come off turn four. Here they come to the flag again. Bloss got your leader. Gady now moves to second. Andy Bachman sitting, I believe, he's in third place that time on the back straightaway. Here they come again into turn three, leading the field out there again, looking good out there. Brady Mlaskotch coming to the flag, and boy, right behind, checkered flag. 
And Matt Gady moves up to the number two spot on the 20th. Well, there we go. We've got three heats of them again. Like I said, there's about 25 of them here. That means they're guaranteed a full purse. Again, this one here, this was supposed to be run, remember, down at uh, Butterfield, Minnesota, but the ice got bad because of the warm weather and made a mess of everything. But right now, let's continue on. We got race number 12 coming up here. And now we got the 1985 and older Superstock 0 to 400 singles. Cole Atkinson will be on the number 19. Uh, the 84 will be John Warner down here out of Fargo, North Dakota on his Yamaha. Greg George also moves up here out of Princeton, Minnesota. He's got four wins this season on that number one machine of his. Tucker Braith will also be coming out on the number 40 machine. Tucker Braith on the 40 machine. And then you got the veteran Pierre Jensen. Pierre Jensen on the number. Again, Pierre Jensen, again out of Clear Lake, will be on his Woody's number 86. Uh, let's see, I play Trace Buckmaster. Should be back out on the number three out there. There's Trace on a Yamaha on the outside out here. And the 43 will be ridden by Miranda Peterson. Miranda Peterson will be uh, on Carson's machine out there. She'll be on the 43. So that sets the field here again right now for the 85 and older Superstock singles. A great lineup. These are singles. Are you ready? Okay, wait for one machine. There they come up. And it looks like Miranda Peterson on the 43 also joins the field. Okay, let's see if we get this thing going here again right now. We had last races. We've had a lot of restarts. Okay, good start. Flagman waves. Everybody's off and they're in a hurry. George on the outside in the one. Braith on the inside in the 40. Again, taking the lead. Great George going to have the early lead in this one here. It looks like as they come down the back straight. But keep an eye on Tucker Braith as he was right there with him as they go down into turn number three. George out of Princeton, like I said. He won this, uh, he was the single uh, champion in this class here back in 2022. And Tucker Bray takes the lead away. How about that, boy? And Jensen, I think, just moved up into third place, or that might be John Warner as they come down the back straightaway. Now on the high side, here it is. Tucker Braith looking good right now. Here comes Greg George trying to close the gap. And we must have a wreck. I heard a bunch of hauling for red. And we'll shut them down again for another caution flag here. But hang on here, everybody. Again, a big shout out to everybody for putting this on. Of course, uh, Mike and the whole staff here from Central Minnesota Pond Racing do such a great job running all these series races. And of course, want to thank the Gray Eagle Bertram Lions. Folks, if you want great concessions, I was just, just out behind us here. You folks that are out here listening on your radio, uh, if you got your FM on the deal, we got our FM transmitter going. I'm pretty sure we do. I think I got the right numbers for you here. But anyway, check out some of the great food out here also. Got some fantastic food out there. I had burgers and fries. They got cheeseburgers. Uh, they got chicken tenders. They got about everything you can think of. And again, like I said, if you got somebody that can't be here, uh, looks like Miranda's going to be out there on the 43. There we go. They'll slide her up on her top break from Miranda Peterson. Okay, and again, if you got somebody that can't make it here, have them check it out on www.cool slash TV slash MN and then check that out. You can get on your computer, pull that thing up, and boy, they do a great job with the live feed. Okay, got a staggered restart again. Tucker Braith, your leader. George in second. Looks like the 84, John Warner, moving up in that number three spot out there right now. There's your race leader, Braith. There's, you can see the one of, again of George. Okay, 
Braith gets a great jump again. But here comes George making a surge. Great George got that thing running good too. He's had great resets. And now George on the outside down the back straightaway putting some pressure on Tucker Braith as they go down into turn three. And right now George just a little bit quicker. Braith pulls away and going into turn three here. White flag will be coming out here right now. Here they come. Braith hanging down the bottom. George going to try him on the inside. Can't quite get there yet. Good battle in that battle for third. Warner's in a dogfight back there right now with, uh, I believe that might have been Pierre Jensen. Pierre got on the inside and moved into that number three spot. Now George again going to take another run at the backside of Tucker Braith. Tucker heads into turn three. Boy, George right there. Both these young guys getting after it pretty hard here right now. Tucker coming off turn four. George going to go to the outside. He gets up high, and Tucker's going to hang on and get the win, followed by George in second to one. Jensen third on the 86. Okay. Next up, folks, we're going to bring you into class. race number 13 on the day. Our F stock, and we got 10 of them out here waiting to go again. Spencer Sears will be coming out on the familiar number three. Then you got Derek Meyer coming out on the number 10, and Ben Meyer on the number 11. The two Michigan racers out here doing a great job. Those two, I tell you, those two came to race today. They came out of the shoot in a hurry. We didn't know much about them right away, but we're learning in a hurry. Taylor Geese will be on the number 20, 21 machine also, and then the 717 will be Adam Bregelman. Bregelman again, your 2022. He's your F Stock track, uh, Series champion from last year. Taden Nelson comes out on the 911 out there. Daly Johnson will be on the 66 cake. Another familiar name is going to be Colton T. Schaefer again on the number 29. Colton again also has one win this season. Jamie Dietman again comes up on the 409. And Marley Peterson on the number 43. There's Spencer Sears on the three out here right now. Okay, we get the field set. There they go. Good start. They head into the first turn here right now. Let's see how this thing plays out. Good battle of these F-Stocks out here. Not a lot of separate. Boy, I'll tell you what, that last seven, eight sleds are, are about, you can put them on the back of my pickup truck. They are that tight here as they go into turn number three. Here they come again. Your battle for the lead up front off turn four. Coming on that front shoot with a good run. And I believe that's Taylor Geese, at 21, doing a nice job hanging on early on. The Cat looking very good down the back straight. Now they're battling for the two spot and the four and the five, and everybody's getting picking a partner here right now in this one here. Taylor heads into turn three. <coughs> Second, third place machines now trying to close the gap on him as he comes off here right now. Ralph Taylor did a good run out there. Ragelman looking very strong also as they come down the back straightaway. Taylor Geese sitting up there. Here they come again. They're closing in one more time on three and four. Checkered flag gonna wave. Can Taylor hang on and get the job done? Taylor Geese on that 21 gonna hang on. The Cat's gonna get the job done maybe. Whoa, boy, that was close. Okay. Second. Okay. Who got second? Do you know? Three. Three. Okay. Good job out there. Okay. Spencer Sears ended up in third, second in the number three, and nine eleven, I believe, uh, number eleven. Uh, ben Ben Meyer got four, third in that one there. Okay. Race number fourteen. Okay. Again, we got our junior two sprints coming out here right now. Jaslyn Jaslyn Rathke comes out again on the number thirty. Dylan Fox will be out again one more time on the number 23. Dylan again, like I said, has got one win this season already. Uh, Harrison LeFevre comes out on a 916. Harrison down here from Hibbing, Minnesota. The young 16-year-old racer out there again. Hunter Johnson also comes up. Hunter again, one of our 14-year-olds out there. He's in the Players Wall Brothers Racing, number 59 out of Dayton, or excuse me, Drayton, North Dakota. And then you got young Andrew DeNoble out there again also. Again, Andrew is your 2022 Junior World Champion. 
and he'll be on the Cash X Woody's tracks in uh, number 15. Denoble's another great young talent out here. Out of Fergus Falls, Minnesota. Nolan Eskirka comes out on the 8th 16. Second generation driver again, like I said. Out of Andover, Minnesota. Carson Peterson also rolling down here on the 43. Carson out of Lance, Lancaster, Minnesota in that fly racing machine. Miranda Peterson also coming out. Miranda also, of course, uh, the, the sister out there uh, on the Premier Egg. Woody's number 434 coming up. And again, also joining the field, I believe, will be Marley Peterson on the 44. So all three of the Petersons are in here again. And there again, it's again the 43 on the outside. That, of course, will be Carson. And the 44 rolling up there, as you can see right with him also. That's Marley. Okay, here we go. Junior two sprints, folks. We got not nine of them going at this one here. Another big field of sleds out here. Again, they charge into turn number one, and I see another red flag. Okay, well, we'll reset the field again. Looks like I'm thinking maybe the 15 might have got the jump on that one there. So we'll see what happens here right now. Hey, buddy. Okay, green flag again one more time. Fox got a great jump this time. Denoble got charged with that last jump again. Boys, these kids are so quick. Yeah, but again, sometimes they're a little too quick as they get down there right now. And into turn three, we got a pretty good battle heating up for the lead. Fox with the lead, but he's got company coming again right now. And I'll tell you, the freight train comes. Here's our junior two sprint kids coming down there. Fox hanging up. Yeah, lead, but boy, he's got Rathke charging up back there also. Again, Jasmine Rathke is always fast no matter where you get her. And again, keep an eye on the fields they set up one more time. Down into turn number three, setting up in a hurry here again. Fox having a good run, but now it looks like Rathke might have just took that lead away. And the Noble's back up to third place again. I think the Noble's starting to back of this thing. It's up to third, and here comes the Noble going to second. In a hurry down there as they come one more time. Well, the field's set up again, one more shot as they come off turn four. Again. They line it up again as they come to the flag. There it is. Rathke to Noble in second. And what a finish there. I'll tell you what. Great recovery by Andrew to Noble. And that one here. We'll come to race number 15 now. And we're walking along. we got a long day ahead of us, everybody. <laughs> Okay, race fans, we got to get moving along here. We got more racing. Here come our 340 Super Stock fans coming up here right now. Race number 15 on the day. And we'll meet the field again. How about A.J. Rickert? The young gunner just having a great season out here. He's got five wins on the season already. And, man, he and he wasn't with us up north last weekend. He could have had a few more. So he's up there again. Jasmine Braith is a bullet on that 41 machine. Then you got the veteran Sheldon Carlson. Carlson's got nine wins already this season. And, man, he's just been winning two and three races every week. Sheriff Sendler's on the ADX. John Padgett, the veteran out of, on the two out of Brainerd, Minnesota. And then Ed Lurkey out of the Lancaster on the 99. Here they come. Keep an eye on the fields they head in. Now, keep an eye on Jasmine Braith. But, again, Carlson's been the sled to beat. And there goes Carlson on the outside, it looks like. Down the back straight, but we'll see. My eyes aren't that good anymore. I can't see. You know. <laughs> 
Is that AJ and Sheldon going out up front? We'll wait and see what they get here. Here they are. Okay, here comes Carlson, your race leader. And Sarah Schindler, boy, get another good run. She's had a good day today already. Sarah's been really charging in that 80 machine of hers up in the top two or three every race she's been in. Again, they set up one more time. As they come off turn four, Sheldon Carlson sitting back there trying to add a few more to the win list again today. You know, he's no kid anymore. And, you know, like I said, Sheldon's kind of like me. He likes, you know, he likes to eat. I mean, but he is a solid, really good shape racer. I'll tell you what, you know. I'll tell you what, he, like I said, he gets a lot out of these machines and he can just flat out ride them again. Look at that. Look at this Carlson starting to pull away from the field. Sheldon just got that thing dialed in here. There it is, checkered flag waves, and Carlson's going to get the win in this one here. And they'll take care of another one there as we get the number 15 in the books. How are we doing here, girls? 16. Oh, we got a ball break after this. Okay, right next up, folks, we got our Sportsman 600 coming up here right now. So we got those guys coming. That'll be an Eric Ruland again. will be on the 50 machine coming in as usual. Then the veteran Bill Nelson on the three also joining up with us here right now. Bill, again, like I said, has got one win this season already. Taylor Thompson comes out on the 540. Uh, Danny Reichel, another familiar name coming back out again. Jamie Dietman. Oh. Okay, Jamie Dietman not going to be out, but it sounds like Dan Skirka is going to come out on the 816 to fill in for him. And Gage Beach should be coming out also on the 77R. We'll wait and see. Okay, there's Rulin on the Arctic Cat sitting up there again. Also pulling up, but uh, that is, uh, again, it's going to be a Skirk. Is that Dan Skirk? I think not Nolan, right? Okay. Oh, Nolan, it's going to be the kid then. Okay. It is Dan. Okay. Okay. Dan's out there. Okay, that's fine. There they go. And boy, Rulin got that cat out in a hurry. That Arctic took off and launched out like a shot out of a cannon. Okay, yep, we got one. Yep, turn two. We'll wait and see if they're going to have to stop or if they got room to get by them. Again, they come out. Okay, white flag. And oh, oh, no, there comes the yellow. Okay, I got the green yellow out there just to kind of warn them that he's up there again. Good idea. Good job by the corner flagman that time as they come down here. And again, they set the field up here as they come one more time. Well, again, we get down the back straightaway. We head down to turn three here. And again, Dan Skirk having a pretty good solid run out there right now. Sitting up there again, but they come off again. Checkered flag and a wave. There it is. Going to be ruling with the win. Nelson. Nelson did take second. Good job by Nelson. Let's get up there in the number two spot. And the Skirk are going to round out your top three. Sounds like we're going to do a quick plow break right now, folks. So you folks out there in... Uh, TV land. We're going to back her down again for another 10, 15 minutes here. We'll get back to you real quick again. We'll sit and visit here again. Like I said, we'll get uh, set to go here and uh, be back here in just a few minutes. So again, grab some munchies, check out some of the great food here, and uh, again, stop and uh, check out some of the race teams too here before you leave here today. This live broadcast of CMPR, Ice Oval Racing, is brought to you by Right Stitch Monogramming, Rickert Excavating, Scott's Auto Body, T&K Transport, and Vintage Snowmobile Magazine. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales is a proud sponsor of CMPR. Your local Power Sports one-stop shop, servicing snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs and motorcycles. It offers a full line of parts with a huge variety of engine parts on hand for all makes and models. They also have a full line of enclosed and open trailers. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales proudly serving you for over 40 years.
It's the Sox Center Snowfest Racing Festival presented by MBC Drainage. Saturday, January 28th, featuring CMPR snowmobile racing action. See the area's fastest racers and sleds take to the track on Sauk Lake at the Sinclair Lewis Park Boat Landing. Hot laps beginning at 8 a.m. The racing starts at 11. It'll be a day of family fun with food, a warming tent, hot beverages, cold beer, and admission is free. Don't miss the racing action Saturday, January 28th on Sauk Lake. Find out more. Go to SaukCenterChamber.com. For a taste of greatness, try Papa's Seasonings at your next cookout. Anyone can cook a great steak with Papa's Steak Seasoning. This versatile, very low-sodium seasoning is excellent on a variety of meats. For the best-ever ribs use Papa's Rib Rub, also great on ham and chicken. For the barbecue lover our delicious Papa's Barbecue Sauce is perfect for grilling. Also try Papa's Bloody Mary Mix. Our line of Papa's Seasonings and Barbecue Sauce are the best out there. Get yours today. Available at Lake Country Meets Alexandria. Sure Stay Hotel, by Best Western, in Spicer, Minnesota, is located across the street from the sandy beaches of Green Lake. Our friendly staff will ensure you feel welcome and comfortable during your visit. Our clean, cozy rooms provide an excellent environment for resting up between activities. Enjoy our heated indoor swimming pool and spa. A complimentary continental breakfast is offered daily. To book a room call 320-796-2300 or visit bestwestern.com. auctionblock.com first with online equipment auctions in 1999 first in worldwide registered users sell with a leader auctionblock.com call auctionblock today 218-483-7880 the experienced team of mbc drainage llc is here to do everything in their power to help you rectify any drainage or excavating problems you may be experiencing. With over 90 years of combined experience, we offer complete farm tile drainage services and a number of helpful excavating possibilities for your convenience. Just contact our team when you need help. We will be happy to sit down with you and provide a free consultation. Call today for more information or visit us online. Hey, I'm PJ Wonderscheid. Welcome to the wonderful world of Country Cat. With a four-time world champ at the helm, fast, reliable, online ordering is exactly what Country Cat provides. From FXR, 509, Climb, to Arctic Cat, all the best clothing and accessories on the planet. ATVs, UTVs, Easy Go Golf Carts are backed by one of the world's largest Arctic Cat dealers. For fast and free shipping on most orders over $39, log on to CountryCat.com. That's CountryCat.com. 